with the C in the ouch and the ing in the couch, and we got couching with Koel. Since morning, there is an electricity running through this room. The atmosphere is highly charged. Everyone here knows this is an opportunity of a lifetime. No one is going to move a muscle because they don't want the dream to end. How often do you get to be in this intimate presence with greatness? This is the king of kings, the superstar of the millennium, who is redefining the rules of the ageist industry and defying the gods of his own battered body by sheer willpower. Please put your hands together for Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Don't believe a word of what she just said. <laughs> Tell us the most vivid memory that you have. Now I'm going back to your Sherwood days. Sherwood was the school that he went to. So what is the most vivid memory of your days then? When the name of this school was suggested to me, you know, I had visions about Robin Hood. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that was Robin Hood, which had pierced an arrow on one of my... <laughs> so, you know, Sherwood and, you know, Sherwood Forest and Robin Hood and Little John and Alan Adale and Friar Tuck, all the legendary characters of this great uh, story. I had those visions and then there was talk about mountains and you know valleys and so I was looking forward to you know going to school with bows and arrows strung <laughs> onto my back and and you know boots and stuff like that but um, the idea of going to boarding was very new to me and having reached there I, I was introduced to uh, a different kind of culture I think uh, those are the happiest days of my life um, I look back at boarding school with, with great regard your father was um, a professor in Allahabad University mm -hmm. And perhaps he would have liked you also to become a teacher yeah. and to study English. But you, of course, were hell-bent on becoming a scientist and you chose Karori Mal yeah. as your college. Now, of course, what you studied has very little to do with what you do right now. Yeah, there were very few avenues. Either you went to the army, or joined the forces, or went for the, you know, the administrative services. These were the two major avenues that you went for. I was not qualified for either. So we were, you know, at a loose end and um, we didn't know what to do. I tried for some colleges like say, uh, which were the more renowned ones like St. Stephen's and you know, everybody was going there. So uh, uh, you being from Delhi, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I didn't get admission there. They said, you know, why don't you take up arts, you know, science? I don't know whether you'll be able to handle this, that, but I said, no, sir. So I couldn't get admission anywhere else. And finally got admission in science in Kirolimal College, which was just coming up. And uh, in the first uh, chemistry lecture, which lasted 45 minutes, I realized that in 45 minutes, they've covered 10 years of my senior Cambridge. And I said, gosh, I've got three years more of this stuff to go. <laughs> and uh, I just, you know, decided or realized that I was not cut out for science. I did my BSc after mugging a lot of books just before the exams, two or three months before the exams. And uh, if you ask me what is Ohm's law, I won't be able to tell you that. <laughs> and I have no idea whatsoever about mathematics, chemistry, or physics right now. So if suppose you did end up, and we, were, yeah. we didn't have the actor, Mr. Bachchan, but we had the professor of botany, Mr. Bachchan, then perhaps you would sound something like uh, Chupke Chupke. And for the people who haven't seen the movie, he's going to give us a little <coughs> glimpse of... Uh, you know, I'm going to object this, Koel, because every time you put me on test in front of audiences... But, sir, do you know how much they love it, that they, it's backed by popular demand? It's got nothing to do with me. So what? What do you want me to say? To say this, Gobhi ka phool phool ho kar bhi phool nahi sabzi hai. Is tarah gende ka phool phool ho kar phool nahi hai. You've only played a student uh, a few times in your career, and most memorably in Kabi Kabi, in Sanjog, and in Pa, um, yeah. also a student. Now, all three of them had very little to do with studying, but more to do with romance. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure it might be true for them. Was it true for your um, real life at the time when you were a student? Yeah, come on, you know, you're all. <laughs> in... You're young, you're in college, you're independent, and uh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> No, yeah, no, even in school, actually. 
Yeah, it started off in, in school, school, in Sherwood, yes. Uh, we had our sister school, which was called All Saints. You know, our main building was up here where all the classrooms and dormitories were, and then you sort of walk down to a playing field, which is a little lower th on the hill. And then below that was the tennis court, and then below that were all the uh, prospective, um, <laughs> you know, lovers <laughs> who, would, uh, who would break bounds from there jump across the valley, <laughs> climb the other hill, and go to the wall. It was oh, called the wall the because wall. this All Saints school had a huge wall which protected the girls from... <laughs> yeah. The Sherwoodians. So predators whatever. like us. <laughs> so, uh, the wall was, you know, the most significant thing in school. And have you been to the wall? And, you know, that kind mm. of conversation used to happen. So we used to crawl up the wall and the wall used to be the edge of their playing field so you just show your face up and you know perhaps one of the girls would come running by during games period and we say can you call that one please <laughs> and then the girl would very casually sort of walk across and and it was really beautiful because <laughs> you know um, I don't know what romance is like now but at that time it was um, um, how are you doing <laughs> and um, I, I made a little card for you and um, um, will you come to uh, the annual concert you know when you come and maybe you can put our program into this card that I've made for you and that's it bye bye thank you and we're back that's all that you know used to happen really yeah <laughs> <clears throat> and um, we had a vice principal that had um, a pair of binoculars which were really powerful and from Nenital, you could, he could see Bareilly almost, you know, that far. <laughs> and we would get caught. Once you get caught on these things, then the options is uh, six cuts of the cane, or you won't be allowed to uh, go to the annual function where all saints are going to come. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we would obviously go for the six cuts. Of course. Know. Macho, brave yeah, it. Give us 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, were, they were just wonderful days you know I think that um, school days cutting straight to this moment right now how many of you think that the trailer of Shamitab is the coolest thing you've seen oh. Wow thank you would That's... you like mr. Bachchan to do a line from the trailer no, I don't have... you know these are stuff that I did uh, when I did a drunk scene hmm. and because I have just water here it's going to be a little tough to do this we'll imagine okay thank yeah. you This is not picture, it is mixture. Maybe Shamidab. Thank you, that's it. Now, this is strange that you say that this film is solely about your voice to a large mm -hmm. extent. It is your voice. And in spite of your baritone, you were rejected as the AIR uh, newscaster. Yeah, as I said, Way you know, back. when you come out of college, you don't know what to do. Somebody said, you know, go to some of these companies, look for a job. Uh, we went there. They asked me some general knowledge questions, which I didn't know. And I if I were to be asked that question now, I would repeat it. Do you know what Kanu is? K-A-N-U? And Kadu? K-A-D-U? Blank. Kenyan African National Congress. <laughs> and I never knew that. But after having been asked this question, it remained in my brain. And I, every interview that I went to, I said, hey, and you Kenyan African national. <laughs> Kenyan Af and I said, in case they ask me this question. <laughs> okay, I'll ask you, what is Kenyan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, somebody said, you know, why don't you try for All India Radio, you know, as an announcer or a uh, newsreader. So I went there and uh, it was not accepted. Do you remember, the, apart from this, what they made you do? Did you, have, did you have an audition for yeah, it? Yeah, we had an audition. Yeah. You go to the studios in, mm. on Parliament Street, All India Radio. Could I give you an audition right now to do? Yeah, sure. Provided you don't fail me. Uh, are we going to fail him? We don't know. <laughs> hello, hello, hello to 104.8 OAFM. Excitement ki baat hai that we have in our studio. Oh, gosh. I'm going to talk about myself. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan promoting his new film, Shamitab. And let me tell you something about him, that it's going to be made public for the first time. Now what? you play Mr. Bachchan and tell us uh, something about Tell you about what? Uh, okay. When you play with sound, it's, um, 
it became imperative for us to record the entire script before going on set. Uh, that itself was something new. Mm. So Balki and me sat in a, in a studio, a dubbing studio, and I recorded the entire script beforehand. Then we went on set and we played the, the recording and we performed according to it. And then after the performance was over, we went back into the dubbing theater to redub the entire film. Ooh. Because uh, your facial expressions when you are in acting don't necessarily match uh, what you recorded earlier. At this stage of your career, perhaps you're getting more diverse and interesting things to do than ever yeah, before. Yeah, age has got to do with that. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I can't be playing romantic roles. So, um, you know, you play a retired judge, or you, you know, a, a decrepit old man, a drunk. What I'm saying is that either you contend with it or you retire and say, look, um, I don't want to be in a situation where I have to continue working in whatever comes my way or I can just retire and relax and just live on the accolades I received when I was younger. I just felt that, you know, I needed to continue working. And when I continue to work, I must realize the fact that, you know, the person who's younger and more popular is going to get more attention. So there will be, you know, a Shah Rukh, a Salman, an Amir, Rithik, Ranbir, whoever, that are going to be, uh, you know, if, if they were to walk in right now, everybody would run there. And they, no, no, no. <clears throat> okay, maybe one or two would look at me. <laughs> but um, this is a, a very natural phenomenon. It happens. You, you walk into a restaurant with, say, two other youngsters with me, and the attention is more for them. It's, a, it's a, something very natural. Uh, and you have to contend with that. I think uh, everyone that is in the profession will have to contend. I'm just merely stating uh, an honest truth. Sir, in Shamitab, you play a drunk as you, a frustrated drunk. Did you all know that Mr. Bachchan is a teetotaler and he hasn't touched alcohol since, what, 30 years? About 35 years. 35 years. So what is the key element of preparation or thought that goes into doing such a scene? Some of it in your brain comes uh, as a result of some observation that you may have made. Some of it comes from uh, personal experiences. Um, I wouldn't deny that, you know, uh, when, you, when you talk about personal things, then you immediately relate to something that is uh, within you. I may have cinematically lost my mother about, also about six or seven times. And I used to worry that when I will lose my mother in real life, I don't know what emotion will come out then because it's quite possible that I may have already expended that emotion already in some of my scenes. And I doubt very much if we will honestly know what was the emotion at that time, what was the emotion when your mother actually passed away. So these are some of the things you have to connect. So when you play a drunk, you, you, you know, you try to gather something or some observation you may have made of people. Of uh, Balki, sir. No, no, no. Not <laughs> uh, and, and that's how you do it. The, the other thing is that I did a film called Sharabi, in which I was uh, drunk throughout the film. And uh, on the first day of the shoot, um, uh, I had a two, three page dialogue to say, and you know, I, I performed it and we ended. And I realized that a drunk takes a lot of time to say a couple of sentences. You and me will quickly say it, but when he's drunk, he it takes time, you know. So, and if you're going to have three pages of dialogues for me, then I'm going to take a lot of time to say that. So I told Prakash Ji that, you know, I think we need to think about this because then we are looking at making a six-hour film. Many a times people refer to my drunk scene in Amarak Paranthi and in the mirror. But those circumstances and those dialogues were different. The moment was different. Um, the drunk scenes in, in Shamitab are of a perhaps a frustrated man who's um, fighting ego and fighting competition maybe, you know, so that you'll know when you see the film. But these are some of the things that, that differ from one drunk scene to the other. And so that's how we... if we had to do, like say for instance, the Shamitab famous line, the whiskey line, which I have here so you don't have to recall it. If you were to do the Shamitab whiskey line in another drunken person, like um, Anthony Gonzalez or even Ravi Anand from Satte Pe Satta, you know, the drunk scene yeah, there. Yeah. Would it be different? From, we've all heard how Shamitab does it. Would it be different, these lines? <laughs> I've been 45 years in this industry. You're not taking my examination now. 
I, I don't know if any of you have seen this trailer and have seen this yeah. dialogue. Yeah. So, okay, I'm so embarrassed. Um, um, if say Anthony Bai was to do this, yeah, है कोई पानी ब्रु जो चढ़ती है विस्की के बिना नहीं मेरे को बोलो तुम बोलो बोलो मैं बताता है तेरे को मालूम पानी उसको अंग्रेजी नहीं आती ना पानी को चाहिए विस्की ही नीड्स विस्की विस्की में जरूरत नहीं किसकी सो टू एंड दिस शो आई हैव अ लिटिल सरप्राइज फॉर यू एंड यस प्लीज रिवील द सरप्राइज बिकॉज नाउ वी गोन डू सम इट्स डब्ल्यू सी For sure. We have a surprise for you. Now we're going to do some piddly talks. Okay. What do you sing in the shower? Uh, piddly. Shall we? No. <laughs> Because you need a shower. And that's a jet. Yeah, but you sang it in there. I mean, I have given you that no, option. No, no, no. Look, uh, uh, it's not just done for sensation. You know, the song piddly on the WC. It's it's part of the story. and uh, when you see the film you'll realize why i've been made to sit there and why i'm singing this song it's highly intriguing isn't yeah, it, it yeah, yeah, you but, want to you know, hear the piddly song yes yeah. sure. piddly si baatein kyu karti ho sharma ke piddly si baatein पिल्ली राधे मैं सच करूं आते जाते पिल्ली राधे पगला हूं यार पगला है प्यार मैं से भी चलता है ये कारोबार प्यार के साए मैं सब पिल्ली है यार पिल्ली सी बातें क्यों करती हो शर्म पिल्ली सी बातें थैंक यू How much time do you spend spend on the piddly pool? What? <laughs> How can you ask something like this? this we are, you're on. You put it on mainstream. No, no, cinema. this is What national television. You can't ask these questions. Okay, before asking the next question, I've actually got written permission from Jaya Ji that you must answer it. Okay. When did you meet her? I met her. Um, if you were a thirty-year-old unmarried superstar in two thousand and fifteen. Who out of these current actresses would you have wanted for your girlfriend, wife, or both? Give me the list. I don't have the list. Just give me the list. No, I don't have the list. No. You have to just tell me. What's the question? <laughs> Who out of the current lot of actresses, if you were unmarried, young, if you were? Okay. Who would that? Who would you woo? You know. looking at modern trends where everyone is very liberated these days uh, i would wouldn't choose to get married at all <laughs> because then i would have the opportunity to be with all of them have you ever been mistaken for another celebrity yeah many times Uh, don't ask me to narrate this because it it'll be really embarrassing for the person who I will name and for myself as well. What do you do then? But you I'll tell you the opposite. Okay. I'll tell you that uh you know for our action sequences we have duplicates who mm. go and do all the stunts for us. And I hate that because I feel that you know why is somebody going out there and getting hurt because of me. But uh um I had a um a duplicate who and they're supposed to look like you have the same frame and but they are more proficient in doing all these action sequences so uh, i was shooting on a beach in chennai and it was an action sequence and we went out on the beach and all the crowd went to the duplicate <laughs> <laughs> so you were scot free for once <laughs> yeah so then i said i walked up to him and said can i have your autograph please <laughs> as well so things like this keep happening it's you know many times people mistake you for Who Mr Bachchan you, you have been Rakyan. fabulous today thank you Mr Bachchan thank you god thank you all very much yeah.
with the C in the ouch and the ing in the couch, and we got couching with Coel. We were, you know, at a loose end, and um, we didn't know what to do. I tried for some colleges, like say, uh, which were the more renowned ones, like St. Stephen's, and you know, everybody was going there. So, uh, uh, you being from Delhi, you'll understand what <laughs> I'm trying to say. Uh, but I didn't get admission there. They said, you know, why don't you take up arts, you know, science? I don't know whether you'll be able to handle this, that, but I said, no, sir. So I couldn't get admission anywhere else. And finally got admission in science in Kirolimal College, which was just coming up. And uh, in the first uh, chemistry lecture, which lasted 40 But the C in the ouch and the ing in the couch, and we got couching with Coel. Since morning, there is an electricity running through this room. The atmosphere is highly charged. Everyone here knows this is an opportunity of a lifetime. No one is going to move a muscle because they don't want the dream to end. How often do you get to be in this intimate presence with greatness? This is the king of kings, the superstar of the millennium, who is redefining the rules of the ageist industry and defying the gods of his own battered body by sheer willpower. Please put your hands together for Mr. Amitabh Don't believe a word of what she just said. <laughs> Tell us the most vivid memory that you have. Now I'm going back to your Sherwood days. Sherwood was the school that he went to. So what is the most vivid memory of your days then? When the name of this school was suggested to me, you know, I had visions about Robin Hood. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, but those are the happiest days of my life. Um, I look back at boarding school with, with great regard. Your father was um, a professor in Allahabad University mm -hmm. and perhaps he would have liked you also to become a teacher yeah. and to study English but you of course were hell-bent on becoming a scientist and you chose Karorimal yeah. as your college. Now of course what you studied has very little to do with what you do right now. Yeah. There were very few avenues. Either you went to the army, or joined the forces or went for the, you know, the administrative services. These were the two major avenues that you went for. I was not qualified for either. So, <laughs> And that was Robin Hood, which just pierced an arrow on one of my. <laughs> so you know Sherwood, and you know Sherwood Forest, and Robin Hood, and Little John, and Alan Dale, and Friar Tuck, all the legendary characters of this great uh, story. I had those visions, and then there was talk about mountains and you know valleys, and so I was looking forward to you know going to school with bows and arrows strung <laughs> onto my back, and and you know boots and stuff like that, but. Um, the idea of going to boarding was very new to me and having reached there, I, I was introduced to uh, a different kind of culture. I think 